most tutorials show you how you can create a WhatsApp AI bot in the sandbox, the testing number which WhatsApp provide. But today we are going to create the production ready AI agent in your actual WhatsApp number, the number which you can share with your creator, founder, user, and they can actually test it in their own phone. And this is where the things get real. Everyone wants the WhatsApp AI bot, but they're stuck in the sandbox environment. You can't truly really test the conversation. You can't show it to client and definitely you can't use it in a real world. When I worked in the startup, especially in the AI and the automation team, we used to make these cool demos, but there was no deployment. So the creator, the agencies, the small businesses, they want to see something which is live, something which they can message, something which is live 24 by 7, something which is live in their hand. So this is what we are going to make today. We are going to use official meta API to create the production ready WhatsApp AI agent, which you can share with your creator, your founder, your small businesses to whomever you want. And all the data lies with yourself. No third party application, you own everything. So let's get started. So this video is divided into multiple steps. So the first step is to create the meta application. So for that, we'll be going to developer.facebook.com and log in over here, and then you'll be seeing my app option over here. Click on that. After that, you'll be seeing all the application you might have created. If you have not created any application, then click on create app over here and give some suitable name over here and give the proper contact email ID. Then click on next. Now select the use case. So for that, we'll click on other and other part over here because we'll be building everything from the scratch. Now click on the business type over here and click on next. Now confirm everything is proper over here or not the app name, the contact email, and we'll be needing a business portfolio. It's an optional field as of now, but we'll be needing this later. So keep it blank right as of now, then click on create app, enter your password. And now you'll be seeing such kind of a dashboard over here. So now we are interested in WhatsApp. So click on WhatsApp and set up. So now they are again asking us for the business portfolio. So to now to create the business portfolio, go to business.facebook.com. In the left hand side, you'll be seeing all the business portfolio over here. If you have, if you don't have, click on create business portfolio. And now just mention the portfolio name, first name, last name, and the business email. That's it. Your business portfolio will be created. So once it is created, come back again to the developer.facebook.com and the app which you created and select that particular business portfolio over here. Click on continue. So now once it is done, we'll click on the app API setup. And now for the testing purpose, the WhatsApp will be giving you a testing number over here. So now things get started interesting. Now, as you can see, the WhatsApp is giving some a test number over here, but we want our actual number. So for that, if you click over here, you can see I have my actual number over here. I'll show you how you can add your actual number. So click on add phone number, give some name over here. Let's say um, actual number. You can write anything. Okay. I'm just showing you. That's the reason I'm writing actual number. Okay. Choose the category in which you want to create your bot. Okay. So let me uh, click on any category rise of now. Uh, let's say travel and transportation. Okay. In the description, if you want to add, it's optional. Click on next. Now we need to provide our phone number over here. So choose the uh, country code in whichever country you belong to and give your actual phone number. One thing to note over here, this phone number should not have WhatsApp installed as of now or previously as well. Okay. If it has the phone number WhatsApp installed, so what you can do, it's an actual guide by WhatsApp. So you don't delete the WhatsApp messenger. So open the WhatsApp, go to account, delete my account and delete the account completely. And it will take three minutes for this number to be back to available. So once it is available, so you can come, uh, come back again over here, enter the phone number, then you will receive the OTP, add the OTP over there and you are good to go. Now your number is added over here. That's it. That simple it is. So that's how I have done it over here. So this is my actual number. So I actually bought a separate number for this video purpose only. So now I have my actual phone number over here. In this number, there is no WhatsApp installed anywhere else. Just I'm using the meta API for this purpose. Okay. So once I have that, so I am now I'm good to go now. Okay. So once that is done, so now what we need to do, we need to have the access token. So as you can see, we need to connect access token. So for that, I click over here, generate access token, connect your Facebook account, select the number which you just uh, created. Okay. Mine is this Lakshad new number. Uh, whenever you're creating new number, your same number will come over here. Click on that number, click on continue, then save it. And now we have the access token. This is very important. Copy this and save somewhere. And I'll show you the expiry time for this access token. Let me copy it. I mean, inside the tool, we have the access token debugger. Click on that paste over here. And now you can see it expires within one hour. And that's not what we want. We want this token to live forever. So I'll be showing you a very amazing way for that thing. So uh, stick forward to that. Okay. So now once this is done, so save your access token somewhere else. So now it's time for step two. We'll make a replication live. If you want to do some testing over here without before going to live, what you can do, you can add your second phone number over here and on that number only your testing will work. So from that number, you can actually uh, message this number and you can do the conversation. But other phone number cannot actually message this number. That's the reason we need to make our application live. 
and to make a replication live what we'll do we'll come over here app setting and click on basic and now we need to provide the privacy policy url terms and service url and user data deletion so now you might be thinking from where i can get this thing so don't worry i have got your back there is a very good hack for this thing so i went to chat gpt i asked him to create me a privacy policy okay and created a privacy policy i copied that privacy policy and went to google docs just pasted the privacy policy over here went to share anyone with the link viewership and copy link that's it now copy this link come over here paste in all three places over here if you want you can add your own logo select the proper uh, kind of a category and then save change and that's it this is how simple it is to make your application live once you have saved the changes come over here click uh, from de development to live and now your application is live so now anyone can message you and that will work now it's time for step three to make your access token permanent. So for that, we'll go to business.facebook.com. In the left hand side, select the business portfolio which you selected for the application. Click on setting and now you can see a WhatsApp account over here. So that WhatsApp account should be linked over here. <clears throat> By default, it will be linked because you have selected the same business portfolio inside the application. Once it is linked, come over here and, and click on the system user. So for you, there might be no system user. So come over here. Click on the add and you can add the system user name and give him the admin role. So at a time for any kind of a business portfolio, there can be only one admin system user and I have that. So I, it won't be created for me, but I have the system user. So now for this thing to work properly, we have to come over here. Click on the three dots, assign assets inside the app, select the app, which you just created and give the manage app and assign assets. Once this is done, again, come to three dots, click on the assign assets, come to the WhatsApp account, which you just created, give all the access, everything and assign assets. Once this is done, you can come over here, click on the generate token, select the app which you created, set the expiry to never. This is the main important thing, set expiry to never. In the assign permission, come over here, search for WhatsApp, give this business man messages and business management and click on generate token. And now verify the token. And now if you're asking for a verify account, you can verify it. Otherwise it will give you the access token directly. Now confirm the email address. Now you'll get the confirmation code in your email address. Put that. So once that is done, as you can see, we have got our access token created. Copy the access token. Now again, what we'll do, we'll go to the app. Inside that we have a tool. Click on the access token debugger, paste it over here. Now see the magic. If I click on debug, now we have expiry as never. So now you have your permanent access token. So now you have created your own meta app, made your application live, have your own permanent access token. Now it's just a matter of a time to create your own WhatsApp AI agent and you are good to go. You can share this number with anyone and anyone can chat with your WhatsApp number. So now for the final step is to create a WhatsApp AI agent. So for that I'm using Anaton. And if you don't know what is Anaton, Anaton is a low code platform tool which can help you to automate anything. Whatever comes to your mind, it can automate. And there is a link in the description. Once you are in the editor over here, come over here and click on the workflow. Now we can see this blank canvas over here. So now we'll be requiring the trigger over here. So trigger is something which starts the workflow. So now how does this thing work? So now we have a meta over you and we have a Anaton over you. So meta is an actual WhatsApp and Anaton is where we will do the AI agent work. So whenever someone messages us, it goes to the meta and meta need to need somewhere to transfer this message over there. So that's where we have this webhook over here. So webhook is nothing but it's in kind of an URL. It's an address where we'll receive the message. Okay. So we'll be requiring this URL and we need to tell Meta that you have to send this message over here. So for that, we'll copy this um, webhook and we'll go to the WhatsApp again in API setup. Sorry, in the configuration. In the configuration, we can see this callback URL, paste the URL over here and we require some verify token so that Meta can confirm that this to, um, belongs to us. So let, let's say I write Lakshir. You can add anything over here. Okay. And before clicking on verify and save, Let's go to the Anaton and execute the workflow. So currently it will fail because I'll show you why. Okay, so as you can see, it is failed, but inside the Anaton, we should have received it. So as you can see, we, we have received it. Now we need to tell Meta that I have received your webhook. So for that, first thing what we'll do, we'll use the filter over here. We'll check, does this Meta account belong to me only? And how we'll check? We'll check if the mode should be subscribe only and the verify token should be the one which we have pasted. So this is the verify token, right? Which, which we pasted. This booth should match. Once this is matching, then we'll reply back to Meta saying that I have got a webhook. And how we'll reply back? By seeing, by, by passing it a challenge code. So for that, we'll come over here. We'll select text. We need pass the challenge code which Meta provided us. So once this is done, everything will work smoothly. Just one small thing, come to webhook. By default, it's respond to immediate. It means it, it will directly respond. But we want to respond by this node over here. So for that, we'll click over here. Inside this, we have using to webhook node. We'll click on this. And now we'll execute the workflow. We'll go to application and now we'll verify and save. 
now it will pass successfully so now as you can see it passed successfully and now we need to select the product which is our whatsapp business account so now over here we have multiple events over here but we are mainly interested inside the messages which we will receive so for that if you scroll down we have this message over here so toggle this on it means that whenever meta will receive message from someone it will only send us the message and nothing else so now once this is done so we'll go to uh, webhook so to confirm the webhook it uses the get part to send the messages it uses the post part so for that we need to allow http method so that we have both the method over here get and post okay once this is done now save it so now it's time to send the actual message so now for that let's come over here and click on execute workflow don't worry you don't have to do this every time currently we are in the test url version that's the reason we have to execute the workflow and within two minutes i'll tell you how you can make this permanent okay so once we have executed the workflow we'll come to come over here and write hey this is my second number which we have used over there this is the same number okay once we are over here now i'll send this hey message now if you come over here we should receive the message and we got the message if i click on this thing now you can see we have got the message if i come over here let me do one thing let me add something um, to show it properly so yeah we can come over here now you can see from where i got the message this will be blur obviously this is my uh, personal number from whom i got my uh, my name is over here and what message i got over here so it's working perfectly fine now to reply it back what we'll do we'll add the ai agent node over here so we'll use the ai agent now instead of this uh, kind of user message we want our defined below we want to send our message okay so i'm not writing any kind of system prompt as of now to i don't want to make this video much complex okay i just want to show how you can make your whatsapp ai agent live that's the reason i'm using this in the chat model i'll be using this open router okay if you don't understand any of this thing regarding the ai agent let me know in the comment box i'll make a detailed video regarding this thing already i have multiple video but if you want i can make a dedicated video once it is done now i click again over here and i'll reply back so how to reply back so we'll be using for that http request node over here now we need to fill all this thing and don't worry we'll be using this http node i'll tell you what all thing we need to pass over here okay so inside this thing so we need to pass first of all this thing is url first we need this phone number over here okay so what is this phone number id you might ask so go to your application meta app inside this if you go to the api setup inside this you'll be having this phone number id over here don't use this phone number use here the number which you added and copy this id go to any time now instead of this thing will come over here we'll paste this id over here okay once we have that id now second thing we require is the access token which we had just generated which is the permanent access token so for that choose authentication and generic credential type choose generic auth type is a header auth and inside this create new credential okay so new lakshit number okay then in the name write authorization and in the value write bearer and kind of your access token over you and now save it once it is saved now we need to pass that body content type is json and specific body is using json and we need to pass this expression over you in which messaging product will be whatsapp to whom we are sending the message that we will get from the webhook okay so for that let's do one thing let's come over you let's execute it once again so that we get all the information let's come over you and send hey so we should get the information we are getting the information and this will fail obviously because we are not set up properly and now let's come over here and now we need to paste the number to whom we need to send the message so for that inside the webhook we'll be seeing this display number over here so we'll be seeing this whatsapp id over here just use this whatsapp id this is the uh, number to whom we need to send the message okay in the body we need to send the message which we got from our ai agent this is the output and now we are good to go if i execute this step it has worked properly if i go to whatsapp and we have got our message over you and that simple it is now only step which is remaining is to make this live so that we don't have to come over here again and again and execute this workflow so for that we'll come inside the webhook we'll use the production url we'll copy this url go to our meta app go to configuration paste this url over here verify the token paste the same url so that you don't have to change in filter node and verify and save before verify and save go to anytime make this workflow live active it means everything will work without executing the workflow let's go to the application verify and save now it worked perfectly now just to confirm we have subscribed properly now we can use this and just make sure it is on over here and that's it now you are good to go now let's come over here in whatsapp and send hey and we should get reply without clicking on execute workflow and we got the reply 
Now this will work 24 by 7. Share this number with whoever you want and this will work. Let me know if you like this video and also let me know if all these types work for you. If anything didn't work, let me know in the comment box. I will help you out or you can join my school community. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, you like this video as well where I have shown you how you can create your own WhatsApp catalog.